In this video, we are going to design this slide one of this PowerPoint presentation. You can see there are four square boxes that are in 3D format with a depth dimension. Also, they are in four different colors. Also, we have got four different icons surrounded by a solid fill colored circle and also a few lines of description for each of them. Before diving into the design and animation of this slide, let's have a mini preview. Okay, we have seen the preview. Now let's jump into the designing process first and then we can move into the animation. After opening a plain PowerPoint presentation, you would have got this empty slide. Select all and press delete. We need a plain PowerPoint presentation with no elements inside. Now go to Insert tab, go to Shapes, and take the plain rectangle. Hold Shift key to draw a square. Now go to Shape Effects, go to 3D Rotation, and choose Off Axis 1 Top Parallel Preset. Now we need to add the dimension called depth. For this, go to Format Shape. Under Shape option, choose Effects. Go to 3D Format and increase the depth. Thirty-two points is enough. Now we need to fine tune this 3D rotation. So let's close the 3D Format and open 3D Rotation. You just need to play around with these settings and get a final look like this. That's it. We have got the rectangle or the square with the third dimension that is depth. Don't remove the shape outline because if you remove it, then you will get somewhat a lighter shade square box like this. So leave it as it is. I'm pressing Ctrl Z to undo this step. Now we need to add a circle and an icon inside it. So go to insert tab like before, choose a circle. Hold shift key to draw a perfect circle. This time you need to remove the shape outline. Now we need to place an icon inside it. Let me copy the icon from my icon package. Actually I have got a separate file where I have got all these icons. If you want to use my icons, don't worry, I will attach all the icons that I have used in this course in a separate zip file as a resource to this course. Now select both of these, that is the icon on the circle, and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now we need to choose this grouped shape and this square. Go to Arrange, Align, and then Align Center. So that both of these shapes will be aligned to a common center line. Now I need to draw a dotted line from this circle to the square box. So go to insert, go to shapes and choose double headed arrow or a line arrow with double arrow heads. Now when you just mouse over the circle, you can see several dots appearing around the circle, right? These denotes the joints with which you can just fix this double headed arrow so that even if you move the shape, the arrow will be still fixed. Let me show you how this can be done. Now, when I come here, I get three more dots in this shape. Let's assume that I fix it here. Now, even if I move this circle, the arrow will follow wherever it goes. That's the actual purpose of aligning this arrow to these dots. If I want a straight arrow, not an arrow in some angles. So I'm going to draw the arrow holding shift key. Unlike I joined this arrow to one of the dot previously, I'm going to place this arrow to the center of the square. It will create an illusion like this arrow is protruding from the center of the square to this icon circle. Now I wish to customize the look of this arrow to a dotted line with dots at the end instead of arrow. So for that, 
first i need to increase the width let me zoom in so that you can see clearly and choose the dash type to round dot still you can see the dots are in square shape right i need round dots so i'm going to choose the cap type to round and join type to round also the begin arrow type to oval arrow similarly an arrow type to oval arrow too but you can see that the end and the beginning are not clearly visible that's why i'm going to change the color to gray now i wish to add a few lines of text so go to insert and text box let me type some dummy text which you can fill as per your preferences after typing the text resize it to accommodate the width as per your requirement or preference now i'm going to choose the text to lato and align the text to center and reduce the font size a bit maybe 10 and let me reduce the width further that's it now i wish to change the color of the text to somewhat in the gray shade because pure black will be something old fashioned and a shade of gray is what everybody is using in the latest trend so let me blend with the trend so i wish to select some of these gray shades let me choose this third one now i wish to align it along the center okay now let me bring down this arrow to this dot so let me reduce the width to two points that's it slightly up now select this one the text and the arrow and press ctrl g to group them together so all these four objects are grouped together and this square box is a separate shape why i am grouping all these four you will understand while i do the animation so now let me zoom out select ctrl c and then ctrl v thrice now let me align them in a different manner rather than in a straight horizontal way just make sure that the top diagonal point of this square and the bottom left diagonal point of this square meets together if you can't adjust exactly with the mouse then you may use the keyboard arrows while selecting select both of them and then drag it else the shapes may get disaligned now i am going to press the arrow keys to make them perfectly aligned now select these two and align them exactly okay now i'm going to select this one and change the shape fill to orange and this third square to gray and the fourth one to green Similarly, I'm going to change the shape outline to a darker orange, which you can choose or see here, that is accent 2. Similarly, dark gray for the outline here and dark green for the outline of the fourth square. Now, let's change the color of this circle. For this, when you select first, the group will get selected. Now click again on the circle to select it and change the shape fill to orange. Repeat the same and change the color to gray for the third one and green for the fourth one. Now we need to change the icons, right? So select it and delete. As usual, you need to click first and then second. When you click the second time, the icon will get selected. Make sure you point right at the icon, not at the circle. Now I'm going to copy all the icons from another PowerPoint file. 
see all these icons are right here now let me bring it down here you can manually center them by using these guides that is these red dotted lines but after we have added these icons the grouping should have got disturbed so select both these holding control key and group them again that's it we have completed designing this body part of this slide now select all and move them in a comfortable position for you to follow the lower third or one third principle don't place them at the center try to place them at one third of all the sides this is called rule of thirds which you could have heard in photography now let's add the title subtitle and a line in between them before that let's format the background of this slide for that you can go to design and select format background here choose gradient fill and choose the second gray preset it's called top spotlight accent 3 preset that's it we have got a nice premium touch to this slide now let's add the heading go to insert and choose text box let me switch on caps lock okay, here is my awesome heading selecting it i'm holding control key and taking another copy and i'm going to write as here goes your subtitle or one liner or tagline or whatever you wish now let me select both of them and choose the font called monstrat it's my favorite font also let me select the subtitle and color it to somewhat lighter gray like this and select the color of for the heading to this blue gray also add a loosening between the heading characters which will give a nice touch now let's increase the font size to 48 that's it we have got an awesome heading and a good subtitle now insert a rectangle or square holding shift key remove the shape outline and choose the shape fill to white now take four more copies you don't need to align it because we can do it right away using the align button go to align and then align middle also go to align again and choose distribute horizontally to make them evenly placed let's bring them here and take one copy of this square okay now we have placed it with even distance between them and just increase the length now select all press ctrl g we have got it grouped together hold shift key and reduce the size let's reduce a bit further I think this would suffice and let's resize this one. Let me zoom out. So we have completed designing the first slide. Let me show you how you can do the animation in the next lecture.